Welcome to another video of Big Data Do It Yourself Training. In this video, we are going to talk about some hands on because we have learned a lot of things and uh, we want to make sure that all of us are on the same page. We can do whatever we have done in last three videos by ourselves. To do this, uh, we have to upload the big data hyphen DIY dot CSV file using the five browser in here. So this file can be downloaded from the, the shared location big data DIY and upload it using the file browser under user BDCS upload it here. The next step, create a database BDCS practice then create a managed table BDCS DIY using structure from the CSV file uploaded. So open the CSV, see what the structure is and create a table which will be able to load that data from CSV. Load the data into the table which we created. Now to make sure that we understand the concept of the file structure because Hadoop data file system HDFS is all about files. We'll say locate the database and the table using Hadoop FS command in the file system. What I'm looking at is you want to go to slash user slash hive slash warehouse to see both the database and then subsequently the table being created. Database and table being created in the file system. And once you have done that, make sure that you go to the file browser and validate that the CSV file which you uploaded has been deleted. Now, next step. Once you have done that, we are going to write simple commands to validate the data has been loaded. You would say select star from that table and also you can say select column. Let's do that as a demonstration. So I'll say describe. I haven't done that in the exercise yet. So we would use exercise table, but I'm going to use the load CSV table, which we have done earlier. Describe table, load CSV, oh, we already have it. So we'll say select the star. Obviously like in relational databases, you can say here, comma, Sum of same amount from load CSV group by here. It's a relational hive gives you a flex flexibility to write relational SQL statements on the STFS file system. And in the videos to come, we are going to talk about pig in which you would write scripts to do the same thing which I'm doing here using SQL. So you can see it says the, the map reduce job, if you remember map reduce job has been started and it's gonna do that calculation and because we are using some functions it's taking a lot of time. Remember when we did select star from the table, it was so quick. But when we had to do some function, even though you have written an SQL statement, it's using the map reduce function. Very important. Please note that if you want to have this select here, comma, sum of in amount, it, we are not doing a star. It's using 
the map reduce function and it gives you a log that at what time the map reduce has started giving you this idea put 4325 nothing started 4341 within 16 seconds map completed but reduce has not started and then at 55 which is 14 seconds later you have map 100% and reduce 100% it gives you this log and again as i mentioned earlier the map reduce process is the brain is the cpu is is the processing unit which does all this calculation and at the end of the day it gives you the amount for 14 15 and 16 to look at so think about a sql statement and it's converted into a map reduce java based job and then the output is given and this is what hive does for you hive lets you as i mentioned earlier writes and write a sql statement just an sql statement on table and then the internal process would convert that into a map reduce job in the next video we are going to talk about an external table and how is it different from a managed table. You have a good one.